President Rodrigo Duterte visited another military camp, this time the 2nd Infantry Battalion at Camp Kapinpin in Tanay Rizal. In a short address to the troops, the President enumerated various concerns that his administration is focusing on. These include the illegal drugs problem, the communist insurgency and the Muslim rebellion, and the territorial dispute with China. According to the chief executive, last month's ruling by the arbitral tribunal in the Netherlands will be an issue Manila and other Southeast Asian countries will continue to raise and insist on. More on the Camp Kapinpin visit from Rocky Ignacio. President Rodrigo Duterte said that peace will prevail under his watch. The president said this during his visit at Camp Kapimpin in Tanay Rizal after being cancelled last July 28 due to bad weather. He said his administration is for peace despite security challenges on territorial disputes with China and the West Philippine Sea, insurgency with communist rebels CPP and PANDF, as well as attaining peace in Mindanao. I am introducing myself because I would not maybe have the time anymore to do it in the coming days because of the so many problems from little to big things that I have to attend to almost every day. Alam mo, araw, araw, gabi, gabi, and before I sleep, lahat na yung folders ng armed forces, ng police, ng defense, Department of Labor, Foreign Affairs, for the day, sa araw na yan, I have to read. And that is why I seem to be lacking of sleep, which is really um, because following day I have to work again, wake up early. But still, I am happy that uh, I'm here with you. Uh, just to uh, show you my support. At to make you the assurance again na kung ano may kwarto ba tayo matulugan dyan? According to the President, enhancing armed forces of the Philippines' capability will not mean any drastic moves on si Rao. President Duterte earlier said that a conducive climate should be established first before meeting with China. Well, I'd like to name the public. Uh, I hope China is dealing with us in good faith. They, seems, uh, they seem to be conciliatory. But uh, we are not insisting on the arbitral judgment. I know they are listening to us now. Mahigup nila tayo sa tilayte. Pero they better come up with uh, ano ba talaga ang gusto nila. Because whether we like it or not, that arbitral judgment would be insisted not only by the Philippines, but by the whole countries dito sa Southeast Asia. The President also hopes that a concrete agreement will be attained in the ongoing peace talks with CPP and PANDF in Oslo, Norway, to end the more than four decades of insurgency, as well as to keep Mindanao safe and sound by talking peace with the MNLF and the MILF. Ibigay ko sa iyo whatever I can afford, the best there is. And I hope that would remain one nation strong and truly one republic. MIMN should join us together with the NPA. I said, the extra mile is there, I will walk it. And if I seek, succeed. Okay na yan sabihin nila, the president will try. This was his 15th visit in different military camps since July. He said his visit aimed to encourage uniformed men to do their jobs well for the country. Aside from procuring quality firearms and equipment for the AFP, the president assured soldiers to double their salary before the end of 2016. For PTV News, Rocky Ignacio, Tanay Rizal. Ako po si Kathy San Gabriel. Subscribe na sa PTV YouTube channel. I-click lang po ang subscribe button.